On 1st of April 2023, Our Lady of Africa Parish Mbuya received a new parish priest taking over Father Anthony Chibira Chimboa, who is now the Provincial Superior of the Komboni Missionaries in Uganda. Today, we bring you the story of Father James Patrick Jumba, the new parish priest of Our Lady of Africa Parish Mbuya. Stay tuned. Father James Patrick Jumba is a Ugandan first of all, Catholic, born on 7th of August 1978 in Masaka, Kaboko Parish, born of a father who is now a late Vincent Sechitoleko, who was a veterinary doctor, and a mother of the late Noel Nanawa Singer was just a business woman. I have four, four brothers, but two of them died, remaining with the two and three sisters. The parents intended to give me James as a Christian name, but the parish where I was baptized uh, in Zimbabwe, since the father was a veterinary and on the move, so I was born in that area of Zimbabwe, where he was assigned. It happened that I was baptized on... Uh, the, the priest who baptized me was called Patrick. And so... And I was the first child to be baptized in that parish. The priest opted to add that other name of Patrick, so that's how I came up with those two Christian names, James Patrick. And then uh, as a clan, they gave me the name of Jumba, which belongs to the monk clan. So James Patrick Jumba are my full names. Having known that, he started off his faith in the Anglican Church. How did he get grounded into the Catholic faith and church? Keep listening in and let's journey together to know how Father James Patrick Jumba, our new parish priest, came and walked this journey to where he is today. So, in brief, I started in Matale, which is in Kalisizo primary level, and it happened to be a Protestant school. So, I had the chance at least to, to grow up in that Protestant faith, I knew it a bit from primary level, because it was just the nearest school, which was like five, six kilometers from home. The Catholic one was again another two, three kilometers ahead. So since I was still small, the parents preferred to put me in a nearby school, which happened to be a Protestant school. Then it was there from P6, that's when I started the, to go for instructions, Christian instruction, and that's when I came to know more in detail, in depth, our faith. That's when I could now start differentiating between the Catholics and the Protestants. And from that time that the desire to become a priest uh, started. That was uh, in 1992, I was in P6. I informed the parents, the mother, and she was supportive. She informed the other relatives, and we started the journey. So after P7, I moved to the minor seminary, Kalasa, and there I spent some good years. Six of them, I completed the LO and the level in that minor seminary. And later on, as we are finishing senior six, that's when I came in contact with the common missionaries and then I changed. So after senior six, having done already the medical and examinations, all the tests for Katigondo, uh, I changed and I opted to join the Komboni missionaries. And I started my journey with Come and See here at Mbuya Kombon House, 
and later on I was sent to Kasala for 100 days to do preposterance in the parish. We were three of us and at the end of those three months uh, two of us were admitted and we continued with our formation to Jinja pursuing a degree in philosophy affiliated to Urbaniana University. After those three years, then I had to go to the novitiate here in Namgongo for two years. And after the profession, which took place on 10th of May 19, no, 2008, I was posted to Chinshasa DRC to do theology. There I spent five years since I had to do one year of the language, French and Lingala, and then started the theology, which I completed in 2013. When I came back, I was assigned to Kasala as a seminarian, and it was from there that I took the perpetual vows and diaconate, and later on ordained as a priest in Masakama Yom Parish Kaboko in the year 2014, on 3rd May. Just celebrated nine years last week. So all those nine years almost, I was assigned to Kasala, where I worked as a chulet, assisting Father George, who was my parish priest, from 2014 to 2000. 18 on 28th of November. That's when I was now appointed as the parish priest of that same parish. And I remained there for all these years, working with Father George again as my curate and another diocesan priest whom I requested the bishop to help me with to boost the pastoral team. So, and finally, I was assigned to come to Mbuya on 1st April 2023, and I couldn't come in time. I had to extend for another two weeks. Actually, I was supposed to come like in Feb, but I had a number of projects and programs at least to complete. It was an ambush. I never thought of moving from there. At least I expected, I thought I had two more years. So the appointment came very abrupt for me, and I requested the superiors, and they understood to allow me at least some few two months to complete the projects which were under, uh, which were already in the process. And finally, I arrived here in Mbia on the 15th of April this very year. And so far, I'm happy with the people. Uh, I've liked the, 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 the teamwork which exists around. And uh, people who are self-driven. So I'm ready and I hope for the best. My approach will be now to look for the first 100 days I assigned myself to observe using that uh, sort analysis looking at the strength of Umbia, where is the strength of Umbia, that is the work I'm carrying out after knowing the strength and the weakness, areas of weakness. And uh, after the weaknesses I also have to look at the opportunities we have as a parish. What opportunities do we have to grow or even to do better? And then look at the threats what threats could be there and how to overcome them. So more or less these hundred days that will be my approach through observation, interaction with the people, listening, reading the books, backgrounds which are their material and trying to know people one to one. Then I hope after those hundred days I will be able now to enter fully into the pastoral, knowing fully where Mbuya is coming from, where it is, 
and where it is heading to as a parish and as a community of believers at large. So I'm there. It is not so easy place. I come like a Jeremiah and fear and trembling, but since I never applied for it, God who <laughs> called me to come and serve, I'm sure he will protect me, will give me all the necessary strength, grace, blessings I need to carry out this work for his glory and for the good of the people of this parish. My appeal to them is to collaborate with the new pastor, parish priest assigned to them. Uh, I know the feelings uh, too much. We have been used to one another. Normally, whenever there is something new, they change. People tend to fear. Some tend to go back and a bit observe. So that fear, I know it will be there. I can't deny it and I can't say that they will come out of it immediately. But I pray that uh, slowly, slowly, they may come to work to accept the new pastor given to them, learn him and try to continue the mission with the new person given. Because change is part of our uh, our ministry, we are not the first, neither the last, so people will always come and go. So to be open, that openness, I think the Holy Spirit will help them to have an open heart to continue with the one who is there and let the, the work of God flourish. As his name sounds, Father James Patrick Jumba, the last name always brings him in relation to Bishop Severus Jumba, the current Episcopal Bishop of Massacre Diocese. But is it really true? This is his story on the relationship he has with the bishop. Uh, Monsignor Bishop Severus Jumba, I met him in the minor seminary in 96, 95 when I reported there. And at that time, he was the school bassa. So he welcomed us as our bassa. He was providing for us. And since we shared that name, I became a close friend uh, and he treated me well because uh, we shared at least that name. And so after when he became promoted, and the dad was ordained, is the one who vested me as a new ordained priest. He is the one who was a vicar general by then. And he attended also very well my first mass thanksgiving, he was there. So I was very close to him before he became a bishop, but now since he was raised, I've not had much time or chance to, to meet him, to share with him but I will organize soon to go and meet him. So we share as he is my formator, my mentor, and also on the level of the clan, we all belong to the same family. Thank you very much for joining with us on this episode of Know Your Faith, Know Your Church. Today, we have seen and journeyed with our parish priest, the new one, Father James Patrick Jumba. Next time, who might be? Let us know in the comments below who you would love us to bring to you to know better in your church and in your parish. Stay tuned and continue to subscribe to our channel, Our Lady of Africa Parish Mbuya.